Hi folks, Rob with Two Guys on a Ride. Today we're at the Tanhassen Autoplex for Cars and Caves. This event goes on through the summer, the last Saturday of every month, and it, uh, all proceeds go to charity, and it runs from 8 a.m. until noon. So come on down to the Tanhassen Autoplex and check out Cars and Caves. Two guys in a ride, and today I'm here with Drew, who has a Lotus 7, and it's an amazing car. And it's and you'll see a little clip of Rob trying to squeeze himself into it. But uh, Drew, tell us about your car. So this is this is a, a Caterham or Caterham, um, based on the 1957 to 73 Lotus Super 7. Caterham was actually the company that built the frames for Lotus. Um, this was bought. 2006 as a kit. Um, I sourced the motor and transmission separately and then built the car up in, over a period of about four months. Um, it does a lot of track days, does a lot of, it's street legal. Um, the engine I've got in it is the Ford uh, ZTEC 2 liter SVT motor with cams. I'm sitting about 200 horsepower in a 1290 pound car. So what's your um, zero to sixty time? Zero to sixty is right about four seconds. Whew. Um, top speed is only one hundred and twenty-five miles an hour. Um, I would imagine sitting that low, one hundred and twenty feels about it's like one hundred and sixty. It feels pretty quick. Oh. Um, the car is the, the the Lotus Super Seven in the Caterhams. It's famous for its cornering ability. Um, the it, it, they they actually banned the car uh, in the 60s from a lot of racing series because it, nobody could compete with it. Um, the way Colin Chapman designed the car, uh, it was always adding lightness. Um, big horsepower and very lightweight, um, that, was, that was the specialty back then. And, and I've, I, I've run into a number of people that you know, this is the car from, from a handling standpoint. It is a street legal go-kart. Now, I notice you don't, there are no plates on it. Is there, what, what's the licensing deal for, like, driving this? In, so this, this is street is? legal. I just don't have the plate on it okay. right now. Um, when I do track days, I take the windshield off, and then I've got a little kick-up racing windshield. Um, right. Windshield comes off with four bolts. The kick-up uh, windshield goes on with two of those bolts and two snaps. Um, the license plate I've got off right now. Um, it's the rear is set up so it'll carry a spare tire, and then the license plate goes around the back of that. Tell us a little bit about now. You did some modification on the seat. So it had when I bought it, it had cloth seats. Um, I wanted to add lightness, so I put the carbon fiber seats in it. Um, it the the cloth seats were good. Um, there's when you think about. You know, the seat needs to hold you in place. Well, this car holds you in place. You, you, you almost wear this car when you get in it. Um, the, the side rails and the center hump are really tight. I mean, my hips are dang near up against that. Um, but the carbon seats, uh, they're actually pretty comfortable, um, even for driving on the street. Um, and you, you actually lowered yours a little bit. I lowered my floors um, because I'm too tall to uh, to sit in it when I when I did track days originally with it, my helmet was actually above the roll bar, okay. um, so I lowered the floors about 70 millimeters um, by making new aluminum pans for it. Wow, that is just stunning. It, the the color is cool blue. That's what PPG called it. Okay, um, and that that's original. To the, yeah, I had it. Okay, well it, it came in bare aluminum and bare fiberglass. Okay. So the, the it's a steel frame, uh, one inch square tube and three quarter inch round tube. Um, the frame on this one, today they weld them. This one's actually brazed is the way they okay. do it. Um, the car 
was originally built kind of as a flexible flyer. The, the whole frame would move. It would twist. Um, it would twist. That's part of the handling on this. This one wow. has a Dion rear end, which is different. It's, the pumpkin is actually mounted solid. Um, it's got axles that come out, but there's a solid tube that acts more like a, a, a normal drive shaft or a normal drive line um, that holds them together. It's got Watts links to keep everything in line. Um, and then it's got a large A-frame underneath. It's the whole bottom of the, okay. and that was a that was a Lotus design. Um, that, I mean, again, it's all about handling. Yeah, what an amazing car! Wow, ah, fun on track days. Fun on track days. Absolutely fun on track days. It's been to Brainerd many times. Um, oh, sure, I've been up there. It's been to Road America. Um, I took it to Lime Rock after I first built it. Um, Oh, it's been to Barber also. I, I brought it to the Big Lotus convention a few years ago okay. and uh, ran it on, at the Barber Motorsports, which was a phenomenal car for that track. That track. Yep. Is there, yeah, as I, say, I was wondering if there was a favorite track of all the ones you've been to. So the Brainerd Short Track is by far my favorite. Yep. Uh, and it's got lots and lots of time on that track. So. Nice. Well, Drew, thank you so much for showing us your beautiful Lotus 7. Uh, and again, I'm Rob. I'm Nathan. I'm That's Rob. Rob. And we are two guys in a ride with Drew, and we're at the Chanhassen Autoplex, and this is Cars and Caves. It's an event that goes on the last Saturday of every month now through the end of summer. So come on down and check it out. Take a look at these beautiful garages and these awesome cars. Meet the owners. Spend some time with them. They'll be more than happy to tell you about their passion. We'll pop off also. That's right. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's it's oh. in a really nice position. Oh my. So you're God. in second right you now. You are. Forward. You are really. You are really in here. Let's see. I can't. Oh my gosh. The pedals are small. Yeah. There's not enough room for a dead pedal. No. And there's no need for it because of the way your hips are constrained and your knees <laughs> are constrained. That everything is. Yeah. Constra are you filming this? I am. <laughs> now I know how the little sardines fell in the can. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> wow.